Welcome to your Astro Mojo. I'm your astrologer Lisa Perron and this is your general Western astrology forecast for June 2016. June's lucky stars have some challenges and they're a little rocky to be honest. Starting on the first with the Sun and Gemini square Neptune and Pisces. If you're an air or water sign you may be feeling a bit challenged, disillusioned, or lacking in confidence, especially in relationships at this time. The energy will build and peak on the new moon in Gemini on the 4th. The new moon is very close or in a, a harmonious aspect with Venus, which will really put it, an emphasis on deep emotions, love and relationships. Emotions could turn serious as the moon is in opposition to Saturn in Sagittarius. As well, the moon is in a T-square with Jupiter in Virgo and Neptune in Pisces. This is a rather challenging astrological angle, so there could be radical change, change, changes sorry, or adjustments in relationships in general. Things pick up on the 6th when Venus makes an exact conjunction with the Sun at 16 degrees of Gemini. This is a lovely youthful exuberant aspect that will energize us to be open to love, communication, new ideas and experiences. Putting the celestial cherry on the cake is Mercury finally out of its shadow phase on June 9th. Communications, writing or that important correspondence you've been waiting for will finally come in around this time. The 12th will be another interesting day with Mercury entering its natural air sign of Gemini. As well, Venus is making a really lovely aspect with unpredictable Uranus in Aries, which is a classic indicator of love at first sight. You may be feeling nostalgic or thinking about past lives and your innermost secrets on the 13th when Neptune goes retrograde in Pisces. For the next several months, this influence will be felt especially for Pisces and the other water signs of Cancer and Scorpio. Your in intuition and ESP powers will become more powerful at this time. Some of you may be feeling like snuggling at home, eating home-baked cookies with your sweetheart on the 17th when Venus enters the home loving sign of cancer. However, this probably isn't going to happen just quite like you expect it. As Saturn in Sagittarius is making a difficult angle to Neptune in Pisces. Oh, and both these planets are retrograde. You don't want to mess around with Saturn and Neptune, especially Saturn, because this aspect can make a situation heavy or serious and kind of like a wet blanket thrown over the whole thing. It's, it's a downer, temporarily. This energy only lasts a couple of days leading up to the summer solstice really intensely. And that day has some challenges as well. The 18th is another unusual day to take note of how you communicate to other people. There could be uh, unexpected, angry, or intense words smoke, spoken or exchanged in the heat of the moment that may be regretted later. The full moon on the 20th is in the sign of Sagittarius and is opposite the sun in Gemini. The moon is conjunct Mars and coming close to Saturn as well, so you may feel like you want to begin something, but you're challenged or held back in some way. As well, Mercury in Gemini is currently in opposition to Saturn in Sagittarius, also square to Neptune in, Neptune in Pisces. This energy could have talks turn serious with a sprinkling of uncertainty and illusion. The 20th is also the summer solstice, one of the most energetically charged and magical days of the year. This is a perfect night to bless smudge and energize yourself, your loved ones, including your pets, your home and surroundings. <clears throat> this is one of the most powerful, it is the most powerful night of the year to charge your crystals and tarot cards as well. 
Probably the very best day of the month would be June 26, when Jupiter in Virgo makes a really harmonious aspect with mighty Pluto and Capricorn. This could be a huge opportunity of some kind coming your way. I would say it would be unexpectedly at well, as well because Mercury is in a nice aspect to unpredictable Uranus in Aries. The 27th is a wonderful day for love and romance when Venus in Cancer makes a sexy angle to Neptune in Pisces. This is lovely energy for a romantic date with your sweetheart or spouse. Single water signs of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Be prepared for possible love at first sight. The general energy in the air will start to lift considerably starting on the 29th when Mars finally goes direct in Scorpio. Life will slowly begin to speed up at that time. As well on the 29th, Mercury enters the water sign of Cancer. I predict communications to be tender, sympathetic, and possibly emotional. The 30th can be a very challenging day for relationships when Venus in Cancer opposes Pluto in Capricorn. Some of you may experience extreme emotions, jealousy, rage, a power struggle, or stern opposition from the one you love. Make sure to check your June video horoscope with your lucky crystal recommendation for your sun, moon, and ascendant signs. If you like my videos, please show your support by liking and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. This has been a general astrology forecast for June 2016, but the, these events will only affect you personally if you have planets influenced by these signs and degrees. For personal predictions and to see how these planets may affect you, Order your in-depth astrology reading with me based on your date, location, and time of birth at astromojo.com slash in-depth readings. The best way to handle June's challenging energy is to stay flexible, hug often, and adapt to your current situation. You'll be just fine. Until next time, lovelies, I send you love and light. Take care.